Park of Flarts is saying I'm, and I'm from Inishmore here on the Aran Islands. Inishmore is the bigger of the three islands. I've been farming here most of my life. I inherited the farm from my father. And the island here, the land is passed down from father to son, or from father to daughter. And there's dry stock, suckle cow and dry stock that I farm, plus some garden vegetables for our own use. And uh, cut some hay as well for, for, for feed for the winter. Well, the land, has, as anybody can see, like is, is that it, it's, it's very harsh land, it's a lot of rock, very rocky land, and um, the land is made up of small fields. All, all the walls, stone walls, like, and it gives them shelter as well during the winter, like for the cattle, like gives the, the great shelter to them, like by the walls, like from the wind. The wind is the biggest factor here for the cattle. Cattle are grazed here, uh, uh, about in the August. So I can't graze the mahar because the lapwings are nesting there on different, all different kinds of birds. So we only graze it now to just keep the grass down so that the, the lapwings would have <coughs> easy access to food next spring when the grass is kept down. So they be on here for about two or three months and then they move on down towards the, 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 the the marron grass down below there, and they kind of trash that and they eat some of it, and it comes back up stronger again, you know. The cattle here are very healthy because they, 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 the cattle are never housed here. They're, they're, they're always outdoors, and uh, I suppose the bones for them, when they go onto the mainland, they, when they get the lush grass, they, they say how lucky we are to get off that rock, you know. And that was it, you know. Keeps them happy, you know. Well, this is the hay that, 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 I, that I cut myself every year of my own meadows. And I find it a better quality hay than what you get from the mainland. At least, if, if you look at this, on the amount of, the amount of hay seed that's underneath that, see that the hay that we get in from the mainland does not have that hay seed in it like. And uh, they say here that if you don't have hay seed, the old people used to say, if you don't have hay seed, in your hay, it's, 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 there's no nutrient value in it for cattle. This is a, a typical old style rain catcher. I built that now through the help of our live project. They wanted something similar like the old type being done. As you can see, the slipway on top, that the rain falls on that and it's all stone and it falls into the, in, 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 into the, into the, into the rain catcher itself. And the rest are the big rocks. My father started that probably 50 years ago or more. He's dead a good many years and he got ill at the time and he didn't finish it. So for me to finish that last year was kind of emotional as well, but he had some of the, 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 the slip, as we call it, uh, at the back built. And I, he had the stones, uh, the big rocks uh, quarried and left there, ready to be put in. And I finished it off myself with, with the help of one of my son. So. And uh, it was emotional, but I got it done like so. My fences were like that also. When I rebuilt the, the whole lot again, you can see there's all been wiped out all the way across there, you know. And uh, you know, that's the way we'll, all, all the place will be unless it's rebuilt, you know, and that's it. But it's hard to know unless the young people are willing to take up the farming, like, you know, and uh, maybe more money should be put into, like, what the project that our life have started, they clear borings and stuff so that tourists can walk those borings and link the, the rugged landscape with tourism. You know, have, you know, have walks and stuff like going onto your land and the flora and the fauna off the island to be seen on, uh, you know, by, by tourists like. I mean, lots of tourists that come here, they just go off to do Angus for the day and that's enough again. They don't see all the stuff that's, that's on the island like. <laughs>